Oh, hi guys, Jason from Anglo Forum here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Soya Mini and the Aquamira Frontier Pro. Both do a similar job, apparently, and both for the same price, near enough. So I'm going to head out into the woods, take a look at them both, put them through their paces and see which is the best. <coughs> guys, this is the mid-range one from Aquamira, the Frontier Pro, um, features green line bacteria protection I mentioned in the other video, it will also give you 50 gallons of water with a replaceable filter, so even if you're feeling very thirsty one day you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't run this one out. This will take out your bacteria as well as your cryptosporidium, got it? <laughs> Also does cyst removal, and this is something that's got me particularly interested. It says taste and odor remover removal. So we'll see how it deals with the muddy lake. Okay, let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Out of the box, you're gonna have these three parts. So I'll just put them together to show you how they go. Okay. This is your replaceable filter. Again, you can get probably three or four of these and just fit in your pack. So rather than 50 gallons, that can take you uh, as many as you think you'll need. So for extended trips, I'd recommend packing a few of these. Then this little adapter will help you put it in line with your hydration valve or hydration pouch, sorry. So that just clips on the end there, unscrew. And you put in your filter, screw it all together and you're ready to go. Another interesting part of this is you can unscrew this entire end here. And then this will screw nicely onto a bottle, which kind of covers up the problem that I had with the low range or the lower range bottles. So now you can carry it around, carry around dirty water and still drink on the go. This is the Sawyer Mini, next one in our mid-range. Um, similar features to the Frontier Pro. You can put it in line with your hydration bladder. It comes a little straw so you don't have to, you know, get your face in the dirt. And if I take it out, I'll just show you. Here. Also comes the handy little bag, which it'll just screw on the top of. But save you carrying around a bag. There's plastic bottles everywhere. We'll just screw on the top of one of these. Then you can carry around water straight out of the pond and it'll be safe to drink. It's going to take care of all your bacteria, uh, cysts, cryptosporidium. So you're going to be able to get in some pretty dirty water. It'll do 100, yeah, 100,000 gallons. So double the Frontier Pro. It also features, hold on a second, a plunger, so you can push water back through the filter, which will extend the life of the filter and ultimately give you a bit more runtime. We'll just fill the water bottle up with some tasty pond water. So again, not looking too bad, but I'm sure these two can handle it. So we'll start first with the aqua mirror. This one can screw just straight on the top here. Now this is the one that claimed it had uh, it eliminated bad tastes and odors, so we'll, we'll we'll put that to the test. Okay, so I've got the aqua mirror Frontier Pro ready to go. Now to drink out of this one, you just need to just bite on the end there. Now I'll just separate the edges out and let you drink out of it. Let's see how we get on. I think that's the best one yet. 
does taste like um, just like bottled water you'd get from a shop. So thumbs up on that one. I'll just change over and try out the soya. Okay, so again, this one just screws on the top, allowing you to carry around dirty water and, and just get right into it. So let's see how this one gets on. Oh, not so good. It's got a taste to it. It's not a bad taste, but it's got a taste. Kind of a, I'm not sure it's a plastic taste, but again, it's filtering out all the bad stuff. I'm sure you can handle a bit of plasticky taste rather than pond water taste, so it'll do the job. So I've given both of these a go, and there's pros and cons to both of them. Straight out of the box, I'd say your Frontier Pro is going to give you a better taste, but it's harder to actually pull water through, so that could be, you know, that could be what's giving it the better taste, that kind of improved filtration whereas the soil had a had a taste I'm not gonna say a bad taste um, it does more it does double yeah double the amount of water it will happily filtrate um, flows a bit easier is smaller so all said I'd say you know it depends what you need it for if you're planning on going you know if it's the end of the world and you want one to last you forever and ever and ever I'd probably grab this one that said if you bought a spare filter for this one, it'd give you the same amount of life as this one, and you know, it tastes better. It literally tastes like bottled water. So, yeah, pros and cons to both of them, whichever is your preference, really. We're back at HQ now. We're just gonna, we're gonna do a bit of a science lesson. We've uh, got out the woods, warmed up. Um, so now we're, yeah, we're gonna, we've taken a better look at products, kind of got into the specs of them, what they can and can't do. Um, so yeah, we'll have a bit of a look at this. Okay, on here I've just got the microns, so it's different sizes of the different nasties you'll come across. Um, one micron is basically a millionth of a metre, so a full stop on your computer screen will probably be around 500 microns, I think a full stop is on a computer. Depends on your computer, but you get the gist. Um, Okay, so you've got cysts, uh, massive, hard shelled. If you drink from still water, then they're probably going to be they're going to sunk to the bottom. If you go drinking from flowing water, then a bit more likely they're going to have been stirred up and be, you know, there. Bacteria. This is probably the one you're going to come across the most. Um, any animals or anything in the area that can pollute the water. This is what they're going to be putting in the water. Viruses, a bit more rare. Um, worth thinking about. They will mess you up. <laughs> if, you, if you have one, it will mess you up. But it's rare you'll come across them. So, uh, right, let's get into it. We'll start off with the Frontier Pro. This is rated at three microns of filtration. So straight away, cysts, not a problem. Don't have to worry about those. However, when you get to bacteria, if you're at three, you're kind of in the middle there. So yeah, I'll take out a lot of it, but the smaller ones, they, they will still get through. So it's going to be a good idea to take purification tablets or boil your water. But this is a bit of a downside, so you're going to have to plan ahead, you're going to have to carry fuel if you want to boil it, um, tablets if you want to go that route. So it's really just, you know, it's, it's extra things you've got to carry. Uh, also, I'll quickly hit on the Soya Mini. This one's rated to 0.2, I believe. 0.1, sorry. <laughs> a little correction there. Um, so again, cysts, no problem, don't worry about those. Bacteria, this one's going to get rid of them. Um, again, forget about bacteria with this, don't have to worry about them. Um, where both of them will fall down is viruses. However, as I said, they're quite rare, worth thinking about, but 
it's there's not many products unless you go up in price range that are going to take care of those. So as always, you know, it, it, it could be a good idea to boil your water. If you're going with the soya, it's less necessary. Um, you, you're not going to have to worry as much. Okay, we're going to have a look at the pros and cons of the two products now. So I'll uh, try and arrange this so you can read it. My handwriting's horrific, so bear with me. So we've got pros, cons. I feel like Carol Horton. Okay, so of the soya. Oh god, that is bad. <laughs> soya mini and Aquamira Pro. Okay, pros of the soy mini is your 0.1 micron filters. As I said earlier, this is just going to take care of basically here upwards. Um, brings us to the cons of the Aquamira. Three micron filter. That's going to not take care of all of your bacteria, so you're going to kind of need to use other systems alongside it. Um, Aquamira Pro, taste. Fantastic taste. <laughs> if you're out in the woods and you, you know, you're out for, say, just a weekend, for example. You're out for a weekend, you don't mind taking purification tablets or, you know, you, you've got a campfire, you're not on the move, then I'd say the Aquamira is the way to go. It's going to give you better taste. If you've got kids, you know, they may whinge on the soya mini taste. Um, kids are fussy, you know. So I'll put that one over there. Um, long term, soy mini. If you're on the move, you don't have to worry. Um, you can put it in line with a hydration pack. It's, yeah, it's going to take care of everything. You don't have to pre-treat anything. You can just get right into it and, you know, bacteria cysts is not a problem. Viruses may be, but it's unlikely. It's unlikely. Oh, that's good. Ah. Uh, this one does... It's going to go with lots. <laughs> In the other part of the video, I actually mentioned the amount. Ah, there is 100,000. Cheers. Um, Aquamira 50,000. There we go. So we'll go. I'm getting technical now. Lots of water, not as much. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd say that they're even. Um, they have their upsides, they have their downsides, but it depends what you're going to use it for. If you're bugging out, you're on the move, you want to know, you know, the water you're drinking is not going to put you out, then that'll be the one. The downside is the taste. Um, but if I've got the option of water that's a bit plasticky or chucking my guts up for a week, I'm probably going to go with the plasticky water. Okay. Another pro of the Frontier Pro is uh, it has an activated charcoal section to it. So what are we pros? This is going to allow you to take out toxins, um, improves taste. That's probably why it tastes so nice. It's also going to deal with some of the chemicals. So depending on the area, this this could be a better option. Um, if you're going to China, they have the water over there is just absolutely riddled with heavy metals, so this one will take care of it. I like the soy mini, you don't have it, so you're going to have after, I think it's about two weeks, I had it when I went over there, after about two weeks you just get a bit of a cold and that cold will stay with you for forever. As long as you keep drinking that water you will have that cold. Um, so that's the downside to this one. Um, pros. Soy mini, more versatile, I touched on it a minute ago. You can put this in line with your hydration pack as well. Another pro, you can back flush this one. 
and run out of space in a second. So if you're into some pretty nasty water and your filters get clogged, this one you're going to be able to push water back through and unclog it. This one, however, I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, this one, you've got your replaceable filter in, so that's a pro. So long term, you can take spare filters and keep it going. However, with your Sawyer, it's going to take you a little while to get through the 100,000 litres. So this one's going to be the one you want to take if camping, backpacking, you have a bit of spare space, you can take your water purification tablets, or you're going to be settled enough to make a fire. Long-term survival, all about the Sawyer. Um, the one other note, uh, Frontier Pro is a bit of a concern for me, it's just, it, its taste is deceiving. It tastes like bottled water, you drink it, and you're like, ah, oh, that's really good, you know, it must be really clean. But with the, uh, where are we? There, something like that, three microns. Three microns, clearly see it's not going to take care of the bacteria, so you could there drinking away, you know, hey, come taste how good this water tastes, and take down your whole family. <laughs> Price-wise, you're looking at low 20s for the Frontier Pro and sort of 25 to 30 for the Sawyer, so a little bit more expensive, but for the sake of, you know, the price of one or two bottles of water through the week, I mean, I'd probably be more likely to go for the Sawyer and have that peace of mind that I can drink, drink happily from sort of wherever and I'm not going to drink up anything that's nasty. Okay, if you liked the video, found it beneficial, you know, you'd like to hear more. In the next couple of weeks, I think we're going to do a bit more head-to-head -head sort of things. We're going to be taking the um, filters from our other video and putting them against these ones, going to find out which is, which is the best one, or in our opinion, or at least their different uses. So, yeah, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>